sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then cross out your eyes. Right here, baby. Extra bright, I want y'all to see this. Turn off the lights in here, baby. You know what I need. Want you to see everything. Want you to see all of the lights. Woo! John Legend is in here, ladies and gentlemen. What up, what up? Woo! A little known fact, I'm actually singing on that record. It's just buried underneath all the other vocals in there, but I'm in there. I knew that. That's why we played the record. Rihanna, Rihanna takes the lead, though. She sounds great. Did y'all sing at the same time when y'all did nah, that? We, Kanye just had people come in and do it separately. Uh, and There's all kind of people in there. Dream is on there. Uh-huh. There's a lot of people in it. Kanye's uh, production style is unique. Uh, yes. It's very unselfish. Yeah, he brings all kinds of people in. Uh, he runs the show, but he definitely brings a lot of different talent in, whether it's producers, instrumentalists, vocalists, mm -hmm. writers. He just wants to draw from all the best people, and, and we did that actually for my album, too. We we set up camp in Hawaii for like two weeks, uh -huh. had all kinds of producers and writers come through and contribute and we just tried to pull the best from everybody that was in the room and then just make a really beautiful album that way. So the Made to Love album. Uh, love I'm in the, the Future. Oh, Love, I'm sorry. Yes. Oh, oh, Made to Love is the North American tour. Yeah, Made to Love no, is one of the singles, okay. and that's the name of the tour. Love in the Future. So yes. Kanye is all over this. Um, yes. So what what did he actually, did he, he like, supervise it? or? Yeah, he executive produced it mm -hmm. along with me and Dave Tozer, and he was really responsible for a lot of the sound of the album. He helped pick a lot of the beats. He co-wrote some of the songs. He helped me pick the songs that would go on the album. Mm -hmm. So he was very involved in the overall creative direction of the album. All right, man. I, I can't wait to hear the album, man. Yeah, man. I, I, I I'm like telling it, you. It snuck up on us, though. People say that a lot yeah. uh, because my singles are never like big radio things usually yeah. or they take a while to build at radio. Uh -huh. And so uh, it's always like a, a work project. You just got to keep working it and going out on the road and doing the thing. But I think this is the best album of my career. And I think the word of mouth that I've been hearing from the fans has validated that thought. And uh, I feel like this is my best work yet. Yeah, I give John Legend a lot of credit, Heather B, for mm -hmm. helping to bring the musicality back to uh, rap and hip-hop because when Kanye and John first became this tandem, um, it opened the doors to people like uh, Drake or even yeah. the Future or a lot of people. He made singing over, like, hip-hop, sounding beats cool again mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. you know would you give yourself would you would you i mean that? i was part of it i never take full credit for any of that because mm -hmm. i grew up listening to you know mary mm -hmm. doing it and d'angelo and lauren doing it and so i was influenced by them mm -hmm. and then i was just trying to carry that forward the people that influenced me it's sway in the morning only on shade 45